Crazy woman. How long is that phone ringing? Good morning, honey. Hey, sweetheart. Hope I didn't wake you up too soon. Nope. Just got up. So, should I pick you up in like an hour? No need. We are going to need both cars, so just ring me before you get here. Why both? Mind telling me where we're heading, or is it a secret? Don't worry. I'll tell you on the way there. All right. Well, guess I have a few extra minutes to spare. Am I tripping, or where did I put a lanzapine? Oh, it's empty. Great. Whatever, I can buy some on my way back. Now, where did I put my keys? Good to go.
So, mind telling me how did you even come up with this place? I told you it was Lucas who came up with this idea, not me. Well, it better be worth it because I ain't driving for a whole day just for some petty trinkets. Relax, it's a graveyard next to an old abandoned village, just north of Randolph Forest. Hopefully we don't run into anyone. Hopefully? You better not get chased like the last time. Oh yeah, that old grandma for sure gave you run for your money. <laughs> I wasn't talking about... Ah, oh, whatever. I'm just playing. You gotta learn how to take life less seriously. Huh, that's easier said than done. Anyway, how is she doing? What? Well, Molly, is she doing better? I... I don't know. Doctors said the chemo is working, yet every time I spend time with her, she seems weaker and weaker. I... I just pray for this part of my life to be over and for better things to come. Well, good thing you got me. Yeah, honey. Ever since I met you, I always wondered if you are my biggest blessing or my biggest curse. Wow. For somebody who can't even count, you are surprisingly funny today. I do. And if it wasn't for you, I would be just waking up and driving to a pharmacy to buy a new pack. Sure, buddy. Sure. Anyway, looks like we are almost here. Oh yeah, you're right. What did you say we were looking for? Should be a small road to the mountains. Once we split up, the graveyard is only about ten minutes away. Did you bring everything? Of course I did. Once I get to the position, I will watch out from above and cover your ass. Always gotta be me who gets his hands dirty. Anyway, here is your turn, Sarah. We can talk when we get there. Be safe, honey. You too, love. Been waiting Sarah, here for oh, you so, How about what should I do? Picnic and enjoying this beautiful, beautiful night together. You know, staring at the stars like the first wow. day we met. Did anyone ever tell you how funny you are? Are you done yet? Already getting bored up here. Wonder whose statue is that?
If only that was a real gold, I would be set for life. That's an ominous looking statue. Just looking at it gives me the creeps. Gold coins just laying around? Don't mind if I do. You said this place is abandoned, right? Um, yeah. Why? No, nothing. Just checking if I'm about to run into a cult or some shit. Lucas said there's a couple of hobos crawling through the city, but that's about it. Not like we are going there anyway. Just weird that people would leave the candles outside of the graveyard like this. And a cross with a warning and a demonic symbol is certainly not making this place any more welcoming.
What is this place? I hope all these torture devices are just for show and not actually used. What was that? Shit, I think someone is coming. You need to get out, now. What can you see? I can see multiple guys standing around your car and one entering the graveyard. Is there any way to get out? Nope, looks like they locked the main gate. Shit. Your only option is to head into the city. However, the side entrance looks closed, so you need to look for a key. Daniel, please be careful. He saw you. Run! 